With the advent of the modern live service game comes a whole new set of systems in order to monetize the game. A known system is more relevant right now than the Battle Pass system. The Battle Pass system is in almost every modern game that you play nowadays, whether that be Call of Duty, Fortnite, Halo, Apex Legends, Rocket League, just to name a few. All of these games have a Battle Pass system in them, but only one of them really gets it right, or at least better than the other games. And that game is Halo Infinite. Now I'd argue that Halo Infinite's Battle Pass system is probably the best Battle Pass system that any other game out there has, but that's not because of the content that actually is held within the Battle Pass, but instead how the Battle Pass system in Halo Infinite works. You see, in every other Battle Pass system that's out there, it comes with a heavy fear of missing out, or FOMO. The Battle Pass is usually coincided with the release of a new season in this game. With this new season, a new Battle Pass with new rewards to unlock. But once that season is over, the items and the Battle Pass themselves are gone. Meaning, if you didn't unlock a certain item that was locked within the Battle Pass, you're never going to be able to obtain that item again. And that's what a lot of these games do in order to drive up engagement. If there's a really cool item at the end of the Battle Pass, you're more incentivized to play the game longer, thus incentivizing you to spend money either on the Battle Pass or on the in-game shop, thus driving up revenue for the developers. So if a Battle Pass ends after a certain season, players are more engaged, they have more reason to want to play because they have a fear of losing out on that unique item. But Halo Infinite drives it in a little bit of a different direction. Now, the Battle Pass system is similar in the sense of it coincides with new seasons, so a new season for Halo Infinite drops, a new Battle Pass is going to come along with it. But the fact is, Halo Infinite's Battle Passes technically don't ever expire. If you started playing Halo Infinite in May of 2023, and you didn't start at launch, you can still play and obtain the items from the previous Battle Passes. Now, of course, this comes with a little bit of a caveat, as you're not able to unlock the items in there for free. You do have to purchase the premium tier of the Battle Pass in order to actively work on it, but the fact remains is that you're still able to actively work on Battle Passes that have technically expired, or that are from previous seasons. Now, typically, this comes with the $10 price tag that most Battle Passes have, but this is unique to Halo, or at least it feels like it. Not a lot of other games have this type of system. Typically, it's once the season ends, the contents inside of the Battle Pass are gone, because now that Battle Pass is no longer relevant. What Halo Infinite does right here is allowing new players to come into the game, see what different Battle Pass options there are, and decide which one they want to actively work on. Sure, the cost of admission is still about $10, but it still gives you the option to work towards an item that you really want, with no actual expiration date. Me, myself, and Halo Infinite right now, I'm actually working on the Season 4 Battle Pass, despite Season 5 being the one that's active right now. So I selected Season 4's Battle Pass because that's the one that I actually paid the premium for to get access to, but I'm not actively working on Season 5's Battle Pass. I'm obtaining the items from Season 4, and once that's done, I can go back and do Season 5 or Season 3, being as I missed it. That's what makes Halo Infinite's Battle Pass system so much better than the other games. Look at Fortnite, for example. The Battle Pass has a lot of different tiers, and like every other Battle Pass that's out there, there's a lot of filler stuff, stuff that you're really not going to use. Sprays, some really weird emotes, or nameplates. Same thing happens with Call of Duty or Halo. There's a lot of filler content in there, but there's still some items in these Battle Passes that you would actively want to work towards, which is why Halo Infinite is so much better than these other ones. Because I can't go back and play a previous Call of Duty season and unlock the items that were in that Battle Pass. That Battle Pass is gone. Those items that are in there are gone. If I didn't get them at the time, I'm not going to get them now. With Halo Infinite, I'm able to actively work towards it. Now, of course, Halo Infinite's Battle Pass system isn't perfect. Much like all these other systems, it's got a lot of that filler content. The way that you unlock the levels for the Battle Pass in Halo Infinite is by completing challenges, and if you don't purchase the premium tier of the Battle Pass, you only get access to three challenges. Purchasing the premium Battle Pass gives you access to four challenges to work at at a single time. 
So the system itself isn't perfect in Halo Infinite, but the fact that you're able to actively work on other battle passes from previous seasons if you started playing the game later on or just took a break is why this system is so much better. There's definitely some things I would change about it, getting rid of some of the filler content, letting you be able to have four challenges without having to purchase the premium pass, and even working on the pass without having to purchase the premium pass from previous seasons would all make this system so much better. But the fact that remains is, Halo Infinite system is still better than a lot of the other systems that are out there. The only difference with Halo Infinite's Battle Pass is actually if you purchase the first season's Battle Pass, there isn't enough credits or any credits in it at all to make your money back. So effectively you have to spend $10 and you get nothing in return other than the actual content. You don't get the premium currency. But the other Battle Passes do have enough credits in them so where if you complete it you will be able to make your money back effectively making it so you only have to buy the battle pass once and you could essentially get the rest of them for free aside from the random 20 tier ones in the middle of seasons and the first season's battle pass so what do you guys think do you even play halo infinite do you like this battle pass system do you wish other games implemented it let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you for sticking around and i'll see you guys in the next one cheerio mates